Welcome to Site Pre-Vegetation Conference. You will learn when and how to schedule and conduct a Site Pre-Vegetation Conference Agenda. Please have a copy of CDOT's Pre-Site Vegetation Conference Agenda as you review this video. CDOT has developed a series of short videos to assist the engineer in charge with the inspection verification requirements during construction for successful revegetation. The Construction Phase Inspection and Verification Checklist is available on web page, and requirements are documented in specs. This video is for CDOT project engineers, designees, and revegetation subject matter experts. The Site Prevegetation Conference is scheduled by the project engineer and can be combined with other construction meetings. The revegetation subject matter expert should conduct the meeting using the conference agenda provided. Experience has determined that a meeting length of approximately two to three hours is necessary to address questions from grading and revegetation contractors, inspectors, and other stakeholders. Only one meeting is required for the project unless a new subcontractor is brought on that did not attend the previous meeting. The conference should start with the pre-vegetation conference agenda terms. After introductions and sign-in, discuss all applicable contract documents and ensure that all attendees have access to current documents. Next, discuss all limits of disturbed area, LDA, changes from the Stormwater Management Plan, Swamp. Agenda Item D discusses strategies to keep construction traffic off areas that have received subsoil preparation, topsoil, amendments, seeding, and mulching. The specification states that the contractor's proposed sequencing shall consider and identify strategies to protect seeded areas from foot, vehicle, and other disturbances. The strategic planning of the permanent seeding and mulching shall consider all other phasing of construction activities including traffic management and utilities. Areas damaged due to the contractors failing to protect the seeded areas shall be repaired at no cost to the department. Agenda item F is a review of the materials that the contractor is required to submit for approval prior to starting the seeding work. The list is from the 212.02 submittal requirements, and not all of them will be applicable for your project. The revegetation subject matter expert will review the use of the penetrometer with the subsoil preparation operator or project engineers and inspectors. This is an important one. I'm kind of crazy about compost, if you will. But, uh, it does have to come from a uh, certified compost manufacturer in the state. They have to be permitted by CDPHE. Uh, and we need to get a copy of the permit for the facility that produced the compost. They also have to be a member of the uh, compost, U.S. Composting Council and uh, with an STA certification. And we need a copy of all of that documentation from the uh, vendor and I can send you a link if you don't know it already of those entities that are on the composting councils uh, STA is what they call it you know um, so please when you do uh, pursue that make sure that you uh, provide us copies of the COCs from the compost manufacturer and, and is there any questions on the processes or uh, anything at all I know you've probably done it a hundred times no, yeah so. okay Agenda item G is a review of protocols to discuss with the prime and subcontractor prior to starting the work. Once again, it is anticipated that not all of these requirements will be applicable to your project. We'll need to, if you can, demonstrate to Ricky when you guys come out to bring the drill seeder out that it's properly calibrated to the seed species that are being used out here and make sure we identify the areas that are being broadcast seeded uh, by hand and that those areas do get, you know, the one and a half times right and uh, the, those are raked in and then of course tacked and, and stabilized the best we can, yeah. Again, the uh, soil subgrade soil preparation, uh, how is that going to be conducted? You're just going to bring a grader with some uh, teeth on the back and, yeah. Scarify the okay. subgrade and Okay, well, um, work with your operator, just make sure that he sets it for about 14 inches if you would. And then uh, again, you'll need to use this pentrometer to, to verify to a depth of 12 inches uh, once that occurs. And you are using some uh, aggregate base course recycled asphalt on the shoulder? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, up on the shoulder then, he only needs to uh, prepare the subsoil to a depth of about 6 inches. and. Uh, so he doesn't need to go as deep up there because we want to maintain the integrity as much as we can of the shoulder. So, so if you're using a grader, we must do a spot teeth, check do and a conduct verification at area, ten random and locations then we would check per acre to make sure the equipment to see works. If the equipment's working right, and then if the equipment is successful, 
Then we let them do the entire site. The way we came up with 300 PSI, there's all types of research out there. Anything that's compacted any more than 300 PSI per square inch, even your native grasses won't break through that over time. So it's, it's based on horticulture. That's, that's where we came up with it. See how it says large tip and small tip? Sure. So that just makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So the large tip, the 300 PSI is right. all the way up here and, and the small, small tip is down there. The the collar down, is you're gonna push it down to this spot, that's that 12 inch verification, and just watch the gauge to make sure it doesn't go into the red. And you can see, I'm pushing it in, and I think I'm about to the 12. It didn't even hit the yellow. You never really did get into the red. No, so I went about halfway into the in yellow. yellow so. yeah. Make sure that uh, you know, your cedar is properly calibrated and you'll work with Ricky to make sure that that happens when the time comes and just review the seeding method, uh, you know, so that everything kind of occurs from one end to the other so that we get the, the soil, subsoil preparation, the topsoil, the soil amendments, the seeding, the mulching and the mulch tackifying all kind of done in one continuous effort over a week. In accordance with 207.06 and also the 208 specification, the contractor must plan and work continuously to complete the permanent stabilization once the stockpiled topsoil is placed. So hopefully as a result of following some of these new processes, we'll get some better results in the future and be able to close our permits out better and you know, make the traveling public uh, happier. So. Ground conditions, anything is changing, so it's very helpful for us as, as a the small you know, company here. So thank yep. you. Yeah, yeah, well thank you. Sets a uh, uh, good, um, you know, tone for everybody here because uh, again you know seating is just kind of on the way out you know you're you're brushing everything off all right time to get out of here and these guys are the last ones here um and it sets uh, good expectations you know for what you guys are looking for um you know again they kind of have a timeline so obviously we know that the material hasn't been purchased you mm -hmm. know that now yep uh, but again you know going through this middle process doesn't take thank you for watching please watch our next video